Good morning everyone, let's make another beautiful Bitcoin video today here from the beach in Phuket, uh, making a short video, walking and talking here on the beach, uh, spending a day with my daughter on the beach, so I don't want to spend too much time in making a video. But let's talk about Bitcoin a little bit, because we see some Bitcoin drive movements and people are really like in doubt at the moment, and they are in doubt because we have two contradictionary movements on the charts. I'm going to talk about these two charts because you really need to understand what is happening on those charts and I'm going to compare those charts with the charts of way back where we had exactly the same situation so keep on hanging in there till the end First of all, Bitcoin uh, created a new all-time high, yes, an all-time high in hash rate. The hash rate was 276 extra hashes. I even saw it peaking above 300 extra hashes, extra hashes but that was only like for a small, short period of time. Uh, we are now around 276 extra hashes, which is a new all-time high in hashing power for the Bitcoin miners. So a lot of Bitcoin miners are mining Bitcoin because the price is increasing, of course. So they want to uh, mine a lot of Bitcoins at those beautiful prices because they need to break even with the cost that they are making every month and to break even they need to mine bitcoins but the bitcoins need to be in a certain price so that they will be able to break even with the equipment and the employees and all the other overhead costs and ratio to the bitcoins that they are mining on a day but it's a very positive thing to see a new all-time high in bitcoin mining also another record was made this week and that was that there were 16 consecutive days higher candle closings on the day chart for bitcoin that has never happened before. The last time was like around 14 days in a row, a higher close. Now we had 16 days in a row, a higher close, which is of course a beautiful new record for Bitcoin and also showing how bullish this move was from 15,000 all the way up to almost 23,000 at the moment. Beautiful Bitcoin showing its power over there. I know that it's windy, so sorry for the sound. I didn't bring the mic with me, sorry for that. But hopefully the quality of the image makes up for that. Now, uh, the thing that is very contradictory on the chart at the moment is the day chart and the week chart. And why the day chart and the week chart? Because on the day chart, we are nearing a golden cross. And a golden cross is when the 50 and the 200 MA cross. So the 50 is crossing the 200 MA to the upside, bam, like you see on this chart. And we are nearing that cross. You can see these dotted lines. They are predicting where this cross will happen if the lines keep continuing like they are continuing at the moment. And yes, that could be happening in the first week of February. Now, the problem is that if we look at the weekly chart, uh, this one, we can see a dead cross. That is when the 50 crosses the 200 to the downside. And that one is now coming closer and closer and closer. So that is creating a dead cross, which means on the longer term, a bearish move. And on the shorter term, a bullish move. So all the TA people are now a little bit confused, like which one is more important? Is the weekly dead cross more important? Or is the daily golden cross more important? Now I want to look back to another situation where this also happened. Hopefully the sound is good, but the wind is really picking up. I'm going to walk a little bit more in between the trees, guys, so we have less problems with the wind. Um, another situation where it happened was in 2015. So let's take a look at the chart of 2015, bam, over here. Look, we can see exactly the same playing out. We can see that green line coming down to that red line on the weekly, which is a death cross. On the daily, we can see the, the daily 50 moving average crossing up to the 200, a golden cross. Now, exactly the moment that that golden cross was created, on the weekly, we just didn't make that dead cross. The chart started to build around and the lines came very close to each other, the green and the red line, but at the end, the green went up again, so there was no dead cross. In my opinion, that is a situation that can happen now again. So maybe this weekly dead cross will be saved by the daily bullish golden cross. Now, let's see how it plays out. If there is a dead cross, that could also be lagging a little bit because on the weekly, mostly these crosses are, are lagging. On the daily, they are mostly uh, more powerful, in my opinion, because they are not lagging that much now. That was uh, the Bitcoin information for today. Aside of Bitcoin, guys, I am also structuring my altcoin portfolio, which means I am uh, loading my bags with altcoins. Do I always do it? Yes, of course I always do it. I am a Bitcoin maximalist when it comes to decentralizing the world and disrupting the monetary system and creating a new monetary system that is built on the Bitcoin blockchain because I really believe that's the only decentralized one and that is the one that will save us from all that centralized 
power grabs by the governments and the central banks. So that is why, of course, I always um, mainly invest in Bitcoin with 80%. But of course, there is also like 20, 30% that I play around in the slots. And uh, at the moment, I'm loading those alt bags because they could grow a little bit faster than the Bitcoin price. Let's be very honest. It's more difficult for Bitcoins to go times 10 at the moment than it is for the altcoins because the altcoins have a lower market cap. So they need a lower amount of money to increase in value. So uh, the, the return on investment can be bigger on these altcoins and that is why i always have a part of my portfolio in altcoins as well so how do i do this i have like almost 75 to 80 percent in bitcoin the other 30 percent i play around with i trade with uh, a huge part is in layer one altcoins the smaller part is in layer two altcoins but they are very promising the rest I, I put also in some risky altcoins because i believe it's a beautiful game that i need to play on this uh, cryptocurrency market as well just diversify your portfolio so you average out your profits and you're able to, in average, make it 10 times uh, profit from now till the top of the bull run. Yesterday, guys, I added three altcoins to my portfolio, Near, Atom, and Elrond. So these three were added to my portfolio. So that's uh, Near, Atom, and EGLD. And, and today I will look into more altcoins to add to my portfolio. So I'm putting some buy orders here and there and there. And when they are uh, met, they will automatically be bought. And I always do this on Bybit. If you want to do this on Bybit as well, the spot trading at the moment has 0% fees. So go to Bybit, click the link down below the video to start filling your altcoins bags as well. Um, I think that was everything I wanted to talk about about Bitcoin, about life. Uh, tomorrow we are going to fly, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow we're going to fly to Kuala Lumpur. We need to extend our visa, so we will stand, uh, stay there for a day, then come back again. And then we are able to stay another 75 days. And the beautiful Phuket, we really like it over here. We will stay in the same house. Um, the documentary makers are coming and here in the first week of February, filming for 10 days because we're still filming the documentary today. I've been filming now for over two years. So yes, it will be a beautiful documentary that shows the life of the Bitcoin family, and not only uh, the monetization of uh, the Bitcoin part, but also how does it emotionally go with the whole family. Really looking forward to, that, uh, to be able to share that documentary with you on one of the biggest streaming platforms of the world, because that will show a different angle of Bitcoin as well, the family angle of Bitcoin, the living the Bitcoin standard angle, to be able to live completely on Bitcoin without a bank account, etc. with three pure kids that have their needs as well, like shopping and all that stuff. <laughs> so um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, what do you think about all these charts and all this information. Sort of fair win. We'll see you tomorrow again in a windless studio in my garden. Bam.